Gok jumped back as Frieza shot a key blast. They had been fighting for about three hours now, and Goku was having enough it, still angered that Frieza had killed Krillin. Frieza lunged at him, but Goku grabbed his hand tightly, not intending on letting go. Frieza pulled back, trying to escape his strong grip. GRRR, let me go you filthy monkey. Goku just stood there, staring angrily at Frieza. His hold tightened, and a slight crunch of bone could be heard. Frieza let out a shriek of agonizing pain. He tried to pull away once more, but it only made the bone break more. He shut his eyes tightly, sudden tears threatening to spill. He clenched his fist, before lunging, hoping to land a hit with his free hand. But unfortunately, that hand was grabbed as well, and as the angry Super Saiyan was about to break that one, Frieza screamed a cry of mercy. I'm sorry. Please, stop, I didn't mean it, please let me go. Frieza screamed at the top of his lungs, collapsing to the ground, with tears now trailing down his face. He thought that he had just humiliated himself, and not even begging for mercy would make the Saiyan stop, but much to his surprise, he felt his hands being released, and everything was silent and all that could be heard were silent sobs of the pain tyrant. Frieza kept his eyes shut, fearing another painful attack. But as he looked up, he saw that Gaka had turned back to his normal state, and was staring down at him. Frieza stared into his eyes and saw something he didn't expect. In those eyes, those black, evil, strong, and ruthless eyes, he could see a sign of pity and sadness, but also a tiny hint of lust and worry. Frieza couldn't believe it. He was sure that he was going to be killed, but he was actually given mercy. Him, Lord Frieza. They continued to stare at each other for some time, before Gaku leaned down, crouching in front of Frieza. Frieza flinched slightly at the sudden action. Gaku was staring right at him in front of his face. Frieza looked down in slight embarrassment and fear. Gaku must have not liked that, and reached out and lifted his chin up, for him to look at his face. Frieza could only stare back in fear. As the Saiyan leaned in closer to his face, Frieza shut his eyes tightly, pulling back a little. Gaku stopped and paused for a moment. He lifted his other hand up and caressed Frieza's cheek before running his thumb over his purple lips. Frieza's eyes snapped open, and he slightly gasped. Gaku, seemingly in no need to rush, just stared once more, admiring his features, especially those eyes and that face which had stopped his revenge plot in its tracks as soon as it burst into tears. He wiped some tears from Frieza's face with his thumb. Frieza was now confused as to why the Saiyan was handling him so carefully when just a few minutes ago he was crushing his hand with these. Frieza sniffed and wished he could speak, but his fear still kept him silent. Before long, Gaku leaned back closer to Frieza's face, and Frieza just stayed where he was, deciding it was the best option at the moment. He didn't expect what was about to happen, so when Gaku connected their lips, he gasped, and immediately tried to pull away, but was stopped when Gaku held his face still with his hands. Frieza couldn't think, he couldn't react, he couldn't scream, and he most certainly couldn't attack. He stayed still and tried to stay calm. It was only when he unintentionally gave Gaku access to his tongue that he was suddenly engulfed with pleasure. His mind went numb, and he relaxed suddenly enjoying this moment. And when he kissed back, it felt even greater. Gaku released his face and wrapped his arms around Frieza. Frieza risked trapping his arms around Gaku's neck and the Saiyan didn't respond with any hostility, making Frieza calmer. Soon, however, their gentle kiss turned into an all-out war of their tongues. As the fight got more fierce, Gaku suddenly turned Super Saiyan on reflex. Frieza tightened his grip around his neck, and it was when they broke the kiss, and he opened his eyes to a Super Saiyan holding him in his clutches, that his stomach sank. He stared in fear at the mighty ape, 
and could only pray that he wasn't going to strike. He stiffened like a deer in headlights, waiting for what would happen next. Gaku saw his sudden fear and smirked. He leaned down to Frieza's ear and whispered slightly menacingly, You know Frieza, it's times like this that you should be really fearing me. He chuckled slyly, and Frieza's jaw quivered in terror. This is it. I'm going to die. I'm going to die after being kissed by a monkey he held back more tears. If he was going to die, he wasn't going to die weak. He would at least die strong, proud, and not crying just because of a monkey. He was paralyzed now, and was completely tense, as fear rose up in him, preparing for the strike to end it all. But nothing happened. That final strike never came, no cries were ever heard, and no tears ever spilt. It was just silence once again, complete and utter silence. Frieza was shaking. He couldn't bear it anymore, and when he was about to scream for the Saiyan to just kill him already, right then and there, he felt sudden warmth. Not just warmth like from the sun, no a warmth from something. Or someone, Frieza was getting impatient and opened his eyes slowly, only to realize he was surrounded by golden heat waves and flames. His eyes widened and he was speechless. He watched as golden specks danced and floated in front of his eyes. It was only when he felt a tightened grip that he knew it was the monkey who was hugging him. Frieza's mind went blank. Gaku snuggled his face into the crook of Frieza's neck, making Frieza gasp lightly. He suddenly became engulfed in massive heat, but not heat like burning, and flaming, just a lot of heat. He suddenly felt the sense of security and safety. He took to mind that he was still sitting upon his knees, and so he couldn't really stand or position himself to be more comfortable, so he just hugged back and buried his head into the crook of the Saiyan's neck. Frieza sighed and just rested his head on the Saiyan's shoulder. They both stayed like that for a few more minutes even with the destruction of Namek going on around them they felt at peace before Frieza started to feel how much of a toll this battle had taken on him. He was so tired. He yawned a bit, and Gaku seemed to notice. The Saiyan sat back up and looked down at Frieza. He smiled at the sight of the tired tyrant truly looking at the beauty that Krillin and Vegeta had warned him about but a trap he fell for nonetheless but didn't feel regret at all. Frieza started to lose consciousness from exhaustion, and before he blacked out, he felt himself being lifted and cradled in the arms of the warm Saiyan and heard the words I'm sorry Frieza, sleep well and I'll take care of you, I promise. Then all was quiet. Gaku looked down into his arms at the sleeping tyrant that he knew that he should have destroyed for all the evil that he had done to the world. But as he looked down in his arms he couldn't do it when the moment came all the hate and resolve that he had raging inside him had faded at the sight of the tyrant bursting into tears and begging him for mercy. He tucked Frieza closer with him resting his head on Gaku's chest in a bridal carry as Gaku quickly started looking around. The planet was becoming more violent which meant it was on its last legs and he gripped Frieza tighter before disappearing in a flash of gold flying as fast as he could. Gaku knew the best chance he had was for him to get to Frieza's ship as it was the biggest and it had medical facilities on it that he could use to heal up himself and Frieza because the one sensu bin he had tucked away was the last resort in case Frieza had been able to overpower him in their fight. But as he came over a mountain he saw Frieza's ship falling into a giant chasm with parts of it tearing off and his heart sank as he just stood still watching the sight, before it disappeared into the molten core of the planet that was leaking to the surface. He looked down at Frieza's face that was at peace not directing an evil scowl at him or bursting with tears in fear. I'll get you out of here. With renewed vigor, he charged off again searching everywhere but finding nothing and growing ever more desperate before spotting a cyan pod that was beginning to fall into a chasm. He knew it would be a tight fit with both of them in there but it was a chance. Almost instantaneously he was at the pod with incredible speed. 
He could see the symbols that it was one belonging to the Johnny U force but that didn't matter to him as he quickly scrambled into the seat putting Friesen on his lap as he puts some power to slow its descent as he frantically typed in coordinates for anywhere but here. The pod door closed before it blasted off heading into space with incredible speed. There was enough room in it for him to be holding on to Frieza who was seated in his lap his head resting on Goku's chest. In that moment Gaka finally took a breath that he had no idea he had been holding. He brought his other hand to stroke Frieza's cheek as he took in the state of his injuries. Then boom, the planet finally gave in, the explosion so strong that it violently shook the ship. This woke up Frieza who was about to panic but was tightly gripped by Gaku. Calm down or you're going to wreck the ship. Frieza tried to fight a bit but was still worn out and finally relented as he looked into the Saiyan's eyes before looking out the window of the pod rapidly blasting off into space. What happened? He asked after seeing the basics of their situation. Namek finally went and this was all I could get but that's not what surprised Frieza more. The fact that he was alive was what surprised him most. He really thought the Saiyan had been playing with him when he said that he would give him mercy. You actually saved me. Frieza felt the Saiyan stroking his cheek and remembered their kissing after hours of trying to kill each other. Of course I did. I said I will protect you and that's what I did. The golden form faded and he was back to those piercing black eyes and that ever spiky black hair that all Saiyans seemed to have. He was about to voice his opinions more but the Saiyan put a finger over his lips silencing him before leaning down and stealing another kiss and it still felt as electric as the first one they shared. He pulled back and stared at Frieza's purple lips before looking up into his ever sparkling ruby eyes and then he cracked a genuine smile. My name's Gaku.